Hello from the Bureau, here with another update on the dangerous fire weather conditions expected across eastern Victoria and New South Wales on Saturday. We'll start first with conditions in South Australia today, where temperatures are set to soar above 40 degrees for much of the state, and gusty winds ahead of and behind an approaching cold front could generate areas of raised dust. Fire dangers today will reach extreme levels for many southern districts, and that includes the Mount Lofty Ranges and Kangaroo Island. Saturday is still shaping up to be another extremely dangerous day across Gippsland, North East Victoria, and right along the New South Wales southern coast and ranges, including the ACT. Conditions are set to mirror, or even deteriorate, beyond what we saw on New Year's Eve, as temperatures climb to 40 degrees near the coast, as high as 45 degrees inland. Strong, dry, northwesterly winds will cause ongoing fires to flare up yet again, threatening communities that have already experienced widespread devastation. Fire dangers will reach at least extreme levels for North East Victoria, the far south coast, Illawarra Shoalhaven, the Southern Ranges and the ACT, severe for many other districts, including East Gippsland. These ratings are for Saturday and are subject to change, so it's important to check for the latest information. A gusty and even gale force southerly change is forecast to arrive quite a bit later compared to New Year's Eve. It's expected through East Gippsland in the middle of the afternoon, only moving up the New South Wales Southern Coast through the evening, reaching Sydney closer to midnight. A later cool change will mean more time for dangerous heat and wind across the fire sites. However, the threat won't be over once the southerly moves through. A change in wind direction from northwesterly to southwesterly will cause the flank of the fire to become the new fire front, greatly broadening the fire threat area. So as conditions worsen through south and southeastern Australia, it's important to plan ahead and always follow all advice from emergency services in your region. Forecasts and warnings are updated regularly and you can stay up to date with these on the Bureau website and through ABC Emergency.